Hi, welcome back. Today we're going to take a look on Microsoft Forms and how we can save those responses into a SharePoint list. This is nothing new, but sometimes you have attachments in your forms and you might want to save them as well. And where is a better place to save your attachments than if not in your um, newly created SharePoint list item from that response, right? So today we're going to take a look on how we can save that response as a SharePoint list item and the attachments that are uploaded in that form in the items attachment section as well. Stick around, give a thumbs up if you like the video and let's see how we can do that. So as you can see here, we have our SharePoint site and I have prepared the forms tab and also the Power Automate tab. So let's go on and start with our forms. I will select new form I will call it uh, applications. I don't know. Imagine people sending applications for uh, maybe a new, maybe a new business card. No, I mean you start somewhere in your, in your company and you need a new business card, and you have to send an application. So the first one will be a text field, and this will be your first name, which will be required, of course. Next one will be last name, also required. Then we can have job title. Then we can have um, phone number. We can also have email address. Maybe also a location, so where the office is located. It. Jeez, got it. Uh, where was I? Location. And um, yeah, I mean, let's let's keep it simple. And uh, you can you can add as many as you want. So, but the most important part is if we select this drop down, the file upload option. A new folder will be created in OneDrive, which is very important. Files uploaded by response will be captured in this folder. Note that the responder names and the file details will automatically be recorded in OneDrive. Which means that when we submit a form, the document or the image in this case um, that has been attached in this form will be saved in OneDrive. So to create that attachment in our list item later on, we need to go get that file content. So it's important to know that this item or this file or this uh, image, whatever it is, will be saved in OneDrive. So select OK. We will limit this in one uh, for one file and to 10 megabytes because the case I'm using here I'm demonstrating is application. So you will send all of, for example, this information and also an image of yourself, where uh, which will then be uh, presented in your business card later on. Okay, let's uh, select send, and then we can have this URL here. Let's, um, that's, we don't need that anymore. Let's close it and take a look. Yeah, and here's our forms application. Here we can upload a, the image. It's in German, but it says uh, upload file. So next we want to create our um, SharePoint list where we are going to save the um, responses. Let's go on, select list from blank. Let's call it um, submitted applications, create. So I will use a title, I will rename it and we'll uh, call it application. And um, I will put there like the first name and the last name, and maybe write out like application colon first name dash last name something like that, like an identifier, so that we can we can immediately see okay that's an application for a specific user. Um, so the first one was first name, which will be text. We will keep everything as text today. Um, last name. Then we had um, job title, phone number, job title, phone number, email, location. 
I forgot to rename the question. Oops, let's go back. And this is the uh, profile picture. Okay. Yeah, as you can see here, you know, it says profile picture. But, anyways. Um, so we had first name, last name, another one, and with Windows V, we can see here our copy pastes, our copies. So next one was job title. And next one, I would like to have phone number. Then I want to have email. And then I want to have location and sometimes you might need to activate the attachments in general they are already activated for sharepoint lists so if we can check if we select new we can see if the attachments um, control is already there or not and in my case it's there so i don't need to do anything more let's close that so now we have our forms and we have also our uh, sharepoint list Let's jump to Power Automate and select New Flow. I will do an automated cloud flow. Name this to, um, I don't know, Forms to SharePoint and select the trigger when a new response is submitted. So let's create. And now we can pick a form. So our form is called Applications. So it's already here, as you can see, applications. Next step, we need to get the responses because this first action will just see if a new response has been submitted, but it just knows if it's true or not, and then it gets triggered, but it doesn't know any much more. So we need to get then uh, the responses from that, um, from that application that has been submitted. Here we need to give the ID, which is the name of the application form. The response ID is the response ID from when a response is submitted. So now we can we need to test something because if I save this now and test it manually, um, let's take a look. Let's respond. Let's let's fill out one application. Monea, sorry. Um, consultant, uh, one, two, three, four, five, five six, seven, eight, nine, doesn't matter. Um, X, Y, Z at email.com, location is Cologne, and the profile picture. Let's take a look. I have a picture somewhere here. There it is. Okay. So if I send this, it says vielen Dank, which means thank you very much. I imagine you understood that. And now it says, yeah, your flow ran successfully. And if we expand this um, action here, we can see from uh, the name of the form, the response ID, blah, blah, blah. And here are the outputs, no? My, the one I just sent it. And yeah, Lichai, consultant, phone number, email, cologne. And the important part is this profile picture. So this one is our, um, where is it? This one is our upload file option. And as we can see here, it begins with an square bracket and then with a curly bracket, which in this case is an array, but it is formatted in a JSON form. We have like a, a key value pairs, typical for just JSON. And here we can see our responses. As you can see here, Microsoft Forms uses um, this type of uh, encoding for the questions. So this one here is my last name a question, and this is the answer. Uh, I can see it because of the answer. And um, this one is the one where we attach the document or the file. So what we can do here is if we can, we can go on and select all and copy this then go back to editing. 
because we need just one part of that um, of that JSON, we can pass it. We can use the action pass JSON in a new step. So let's take a look. Pass JSON, and the content comes from um, that image, right? So that was called that was called profile picture. So that's where the content comes from, and the schema. We can generate it from this sample that we just copied. And if we select done, we can see here we have a JSON schema prepared for our document with the name, link, ID, and so on and so forth. So this is all we need for, so for us so that we can later on in the next step, go to OneDrive in our personal OneDrive, grab that item and the content, and then create it as an attachment in our SharePoint list. Okay, so next step, we are going to create the item. So that is in my development environment here. The list, uh, it's called Summit Applications. This should now populate, okay. And the title, as I said, I want to call it Application Column and then have the first name dash last name and here I will put the first name again it, again it doesn't matter it's um, you can do it better or as you want last name job oops job title here is my phone number he is going to put my email uh, email and the location. So next we want to go and get that item and um, sorry next we want to go and get that uh, attachment or that file. So as we saw in the beginning the image or the document that has been uploaded in in forms will be saved in our OneDrive. So if we get here, if you enter here, get file, we might have to search for OneDrive, not SharePoint, OneDrive, get file content. And the unique identifier of the file is from our parse JSON, the ID. Now this will create an apply to each because you know it's a JSON, it might have multiple items. In this case, we're only uploading one item, so it will um, only go once, although it says an apply to each. Uh, it will only go once to OneDrive and find one item. So just ignore that. But if you have multiple items, you can use this loop to get all the items and then save them into your um, uh, SharePoint item. So now we have the item content or the file content. Next we want to do is we are going to um, upload attachment. Sorry, add attachment. Where in my development environment, my list, submit applications, the ID is the create item ID file name is from my um, past JSON name. So as you can see here, this will create a new loop because it's it's uh, every time you, you, you um, call the JSON items, it will create a new loop. So what we can do here, instead of creating multiple loops, we can delete this and create that action inside the, the loop we already have. So let's create here, uh, add an attachment action. Do this again, one second. This item was submit applications, uh, list name, I'm sorry. Uh, the created item ID, the first name, uh, file name is the name from my past JSON. And as you can see now, it doesn't create another loop because it's in the same body. 
and the file content is the one coming from get file content. So let's test it out. I'm not going to submit a new form application it's because we already have one. So I will um, use the one we used in the beginning. So now we can test it. The flow ran successfully. So the submitted form is this one here. Uh, doesn't say much, but um, that's just for the ID. No? And here's the response we got. Now in the past JSON segment, we can see here that all this information that we that we get here in the profile picture, we have now passed it in a JSON body, and we have to hear the name of the document or the file. This is a link, as you can see here, that's my sharepoint.com personal, which is OneDrive, and then uh, the rest, and here's the document or the item the file. And we have here a little bit more information like the size and so on and so forth. Then we went and created that item into SharePoint. We'll take a look in a second. And what we did then is, if I close this, we did an apply to it and went into OneDrive and grabbed that file with this ID. And if we download it now, this is my file. We can see here because it has um, the file name, which is nealichai.jpg, the content type is image jpeg, and this is the body with the dollar content. So from here, the content type, sorry, it's image jpeg, and this is the content, dollar content, colon, and all this here is my profile picture. It's obvious, isn't it? <laughs> so anyways, we can take a look now in our SharePoint list. And as we can see, this was created a little bit long, uh, a couple of seconds ago. Application and so on, consultant, XYZ email alone. And if we open this, we can see here in the attachments, again, it's in German, sorry about that, but you get the point. If I click that, this is my profile picture. And um, yeah, so now my company has everything it needs for me to create or to create the uh, business card for me. So um, that's it. I hope it was, was helpful. Um, I can imagine you can use it uh, for, for different purposes, not only for the demonstration I just did. So um, if you did so, give it a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe and um, catch you on the next one.